in 2017, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild released to worldwide acclaim, along with drastic success, and with the game as popular as that, it was a no-brainer to capitalize on it and make a quick sequel. And that's exactly what Nintendo didn't do. They took their time to create an entirely different experience, and after six years of waiting, we finally have it. Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and this is my early impressions of it. And before we start, as always, I just want to ask you to please subscribe, as it means a lot to me, and I'm currently on my way to 2,000 subscribers. It's a pretty big milestone for me. And while you're at it, a like would also be really appreciated. Remember that these are my early impressions. I haven't gotten too far, so some of my opinions may change in the future. But as far as I can tell, they seem to be pretty consistent right now. And on top of that, all the gameplay shown is pretty early in the game. I won't go into any spoilers, but you never know. You may see something that you might not want to see. And if that's the case, then you can just listen to the video. Or if it's really that important to you, you can go play the game, I guess. But anyways, let's get into the video. So actually, I only beat Breath of the Wild a week or so before I got Tears of the Kingdom. A little slow, I know, but either way, I beat it, and that's what really matters. And my biggest fear was that I was going to be bored of exploring the same Hyrule when I wasn't exploring the new areas in Tears of the Kingdom. But I can say that as of right now, I haven't felt that at all. The closest that it gets to feeling too similar are in the reused villages, but even then, the villages are so interesting that I don't really mind it. It's the same Hyrule, but it feels so fundamentally different. It's weird, but it's a good kind of weird. And after that, I was afraid that all the enemy variety was just gonna stay pretty much the same with a few additions here and there, but not too much. Because it was like, it was the biggest issue of the first game, if we're being honest. It was the biggest issue of Breath of the Wild, at least for me. But just in the tutorial area, they cleared it up really quickly that there was way more enemies than there ever was in the last game. And that even extends to bosses. I don't know how many bosses there are, but I know there's at least one new one because I fought one new one. And in the last game, Breath of the Wild, a lot of people took issue with the story. And while I could see where they're coming from, it never bothered me. I still enjoyed the story a lot. And the same goes for Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know if other people think the story's a little lackluster, but so far for me, it's fine. All that I need out of the story is for it to keep my attention and so far, it's doing a pretty good job of that. And as for the new mechanics, I didn't think they were going to change the game too much, but they actually changed the game a lot. A lot more than I was expecting, at least. I tried to avoid trailers so I wouldn't get anything spoiled, but after the few snippets I saw, I, I just truly didn't think they were going to change that much. But once I started playing, I found myself using these mechanics way more than I ever thought I would, Especially Ascend. Ascend, I don't know, it didn't seem like something that would ever come in handy too often, but they've made the game where it comes in handy way more than I think it has any right to, honestly. And in a way, Tears of the Kingdom makes Breath of the Wild seem a little unfinished. I don't know if I sound weird for saying that or anything, but to me it just has so much polish to it and everything just seems like it's so precisely made now more more better i don't know that's not a thing people say but i just said it more better than it was in the last game and i think it takes a lot to make a game like breath of the wild seem unfinished but tears of the kingdom did it for me and the stigma that some people have that tears of the kingdom is just a glorified dlc for breath of the wild they're just wrong this game is so much, and it's so much more than I ever expected it to be, and I think that they ever expected it to be. And it is well worth the $70 price tag that comes with it. But, of course, that's just my opinion as of right now. It could change at any time. So, I know this was a pretty short video. Part of that is because I haven't finished the game. Part of it's because I'm doing it spoiler-free, and so I can't go too in-depth on anything. And part of it is that I needed to get it out quick, and so it's really short, and it's not the same type of video that I usually make, but I just thought it would be a good idea to make this video. So if you like this video and you want to see a full review after I actually finish the game, 
then you can leave a like and comment so that I know. And while you're there, you could feel free to leave your opinions on Tears of the Kingdom in the comments. I don't know, maybe you hated the game. And that's valid, but anyway. <laughs> Subscribing would also really be appreciated. And as always, I'm Made With Love, and I'll see you in the next one.